Eitan, welcome. Thanks for joining me. So in the previous segment, we heard from Tom Swetnam, who described some ways that people can protect their homes from wildfires. Um, is there help for this sort of work for people to be, you know, getting ready for wildfires? Yeah, um, there's, there's quite a few resources in New Mexico to help uh, residents, homeowners, landowners. Um, and uh, a few really good resources. So uh, New Mexico Forestry Division in the Environment or Energy, Minerals, Natural Resource Department, EMNRD, they have uh, a lot of resources on their website um, and their staff uh, at their district offices often talk to uh, residents about what they can do. Another great resource is your local fire department. Um, Many of New Mexicans live in rural areas and your volunteer fire department is a great resource. Uh, they're often the ones that are gonna be the first responders if there's a call. Um, and so they're great to talk to. Um, uh, another good resource is uh, a website called Fire Adapted New Mexico uh, Learning Network or FACNM.org. And uh, there's a, a lot of resources on there and even some uh, workbooks that uh, a resident can take the workbook and walk around their residence and score themselves and figure out what are some of the things they can do. Uh, and often a lot of these approaches start from the structure and work their way out. So one of the things that we heard um, from some folks is that they didn't hear about the McBride evacuation orders until like somebody had contacted them because they saw it on social media. Do you have recommendations for how people can stay informed during fire season or during a fire event? Yeah, the communication, especially when an incident is first occurring and, and evolving is, is really tricky. Um, Talking to your local fire department, again, can help you uh, find out if there's a, a list or a system that the municipality or the county uses. I know where I live, uh, there's uh, an alert system and I get alert emails about all sorts of incidents, not just wildfire, but also for red flag days, uh, which it, red flag day indicates that if a fire starts, it'll spread rapidly. Um, so. Uh, connecting with your local um, responders is a great first step. 